Hey guys, it's Dr. Thornell, and I want to share with you a desk-size exercise. We've gotten away from this for a little while, and we're going to get back to this again. Um, giving you some things that you can do while sitting at your desk to make that time that you spend working and uh, working on your computer, maybe doing Christmas cards and sending them in online and that sort of thing this year. Um, all that time that you spend sitting, we want to make it less damaging and show you how to take care of some of the effects of uh, the, the accumulation of sitting that it has on your posture and your body. So we all know the problem with sitting so much and especially working on computers and desks that our posture starts to roll forward. Your head gets out in front of you, your shoulders roll forward, and your mid-back hunches over. And when we do that, one of the things that happens is your shoulder blades, as we picture those shoulder blades on the back side of your, your body here, as my shoulders slump forward, my shoulder blades roll out around the side of my rib cage. And when we roll those shoulder blades forward, and here's my model over here, we're looking at the spine, here's the shoulder blades, and here are these little muscles that connect the spine to the shoulder blades. Well, in a normal relaxed posture, those muscles are relaxed, there's no strain on them. But when I roll forward and my shoulder blades separate and roll around my rib cage, those muscles are chronically stretched. So what happens in a muscle that's chronically stretched? We stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, and eventually it goes, oh, I'm gonna tighten up. So as we tighten that muscle, we reduce blood flow through the muscle, we start to get cramping, it gets uncomfortable, and we end up with back pain initially, and eventually altered posture because we're chronically stretching and not using those muscles. So part of what I'm gonna show you right now is just a really simple way to get some movement into those muscles and then to um, actually lengthen and shorten them so that we don't have shortening of the muscle over time. So a really simple way to do this is to simply get up out of your chair, make sure that your head is back over your center of gravity. So we bring it back, tucking your chin back, um, not doing our exercises with our head out here, but we're gonna tuck that chin back. And all we wanna do is take your hands, reach around your body as far as you can and separate those shoulder blades and then do just the opposite. We're gonna let go here and we're gonna come back and we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together, trying to pinch your spine with your shoulder blades. I always say it's as if you're at the beach and you had a horsefly land on your spine. You wanna to try to pinch that horsefly with your shoulder blades. Come back around again and stretch. Then we come and bring together and we do that three times. And then what we're gonna to do to get some dynamic movement into those muscles is we're simply going to come back and then quickly go forward and try to touch your fingers together behind you. I don't expect that you can. Some of you might be able to, I certainly can't. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna force those muscles to quick stretch out and then relax back in. Quick stretch out and when we quick stretch a muscle, unlike that chronic stretch, if we quick stretch muscle reflexively, it causes relaxation. So we do the slow stretch first, then we stand up and we do this. We do that 10 times, and I guarantee by the time you sit back down from that, you're going to feel like a new person. So there's your desk exercise for this week.